Brooklyn Attic Books here, and I just finished reading Amazon's Creature Feature. Part of the horror buzz right now that's happening is Amazon's Creature Feature with six prominent authors coming out with six short stories of their own with a creature as the center of the story. So without further ado, I will tell you what my reviews are on the six creature feature stories. It Waits in the Woods by Josh Mallerman. Now my rating for this on Goodreads was five out of five, but the Goodreads reviews were at 3.86. So I know we can't like give half points to these things, but I thought the story was a fresh take on like an old school, uh, like dark, creepy fairy tale creature, if you will. I don't want to give too much away. I really, really enjoyed the storytelling, which is interesting because Josh Mallerman sometimes is a hit or miss for me. Sometimes I feel like he just drones on and on, and other times, like this story, he just like hits the nail right on the head. Very good story, highly The recommend. next story I read was the, was the Pram. Pram? I believe that's how you pronounce it. It is an English word for a stroller, which I actually had to look it up, but it's funny because that's the cover of the story, so duh. But, uh, so my, my rating for this story is a three out of five, and the Goodreads rating is 3.9. Uh, I expected a little bit more from Joe Hill uh, in this story. I felt like he was really, really, really developing the mental torment that the male figure in the story has where the, where the horror really starts. And then somehow it took a left turn into Midsommar territory. I'm not sure I, I, I connected everything the same way that everybody else did. Apparently everybody liked this story way more than I did. I, I, I thought it was a little too long for the mental torment. It felt like I was reading an old school Stephen King book, really. It, let, it didn't really feel uh, Joe Hill to me because Joe Hill is really all about you know more action more more creatures and things like that so to me this felt a little the next story I read was In Bloom by Paul Tremblay now I gave this story a three out of five and apparently Goodreads average agrees with me because they gave it a 3.11 so this story was more of an eco horror, which kind of is good that I'm reading this because I realized that I don't think I read enough eco horror and I would like to. So thank you for that. Um, but just like everybody else, I felt like the story was a bit anticlimactic. The creature in it was a bit more ominous. You know, there was, uh, you know, the, several directions that the story could have taken, uh, taken direction in. There was also an underlying love story between the main character and her, I guess, roommate slash best friend that never developed. And they, and, um, uh, Paul spent quite some time talking about these two characters' relationship. And it, it, there was no, there was no meaning in it. I don't know if it was just for character development to show character depth or whatnot, but I wish... Uh, I wish this story could have been a little bit longer with a little bit more. The next story I read was Best of Luck by Jason Mott. And my rating for this was a 4 out of 5. And I believe that, yes, Goodreads kind of agreed with me with their average being a 3.87. And so the story kind of is more horror science fiction um, where... It's it's weird because you don't know if it's like a folk, like a like where which direction is it coming from? Is it science fiction? Is it more folk? Is it more uh, ritualistic? I, I have no idea what direction it was going in, but it was kind of fun. Uh, it was definitely uh, the the most unique creature of all the creatures in the creature feature. <laughs> It did remind me of the little man that comes out of the guy's stomach in Total Recall. 
but that's just me. That's who I pictured. But Ankle Snatcher by Grady Hendrix. Wow, this story was so good. I loved every minute of this story. Uh, I really am happy that it didn't go in the Ted Bundy direction because in the beginning I was like, oh, this guy is going on a date with a, with a female co-worker f uh, from like the suicide prevention center. And I was like, oh, I could see kind of where this might go. And then it didn't really go in that direction. But it's really, it was really a fun read. It was really gruesome. And it took, it took a bunch of turns that I did not expect. And it was kind of fun to read. I highly recommend Ankle Snatcher. The Snatch. biggest surprise of all the stories to me was Big Bad by Chandler Baker. So my review was a 5 out of 5 for this. And Goodreads uh, thought this was more of a, more around 4. So it's a 3.94 rating. Now, I really enjoyed this. Out of all the creatures, this was probably one of the more traditional of the of of the creatures and i don't want to give too much away but the storytelling was excellent and being the longest of the stories it actually didn't feel like it it didn't it felt really good the pace is very good the storytelling was very good i loved uh reading the characters it. were really complex the storyline was great and it took a bunch of left turns that i didn't expect the ending was surprising and I kind of want a part two, to be honest. And that's it, guys. It was a lot of fun reading the creature features. I hope you enjoy them as well. If not, just read the top ones that are recommended. And I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. They're awesome short reads, all under an hour. So don't worry about the length. It won't, be, it won't become a mundane uh, read. I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy your current read. <laughs>